Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. All right, a couple things. Uh, number one, uh, I have missed some things. Apparently, I'm a little bit cold. Um, I've missed a couple items, so let's see what we can do about uh, picking those up. Uh, I have uh, done a bunch... Uh, I did a bunch of uh, off-screen... Uh, forging and item collection, and I have a few things to uh, mention with regards to that, but uh, for now, we'll just, uh, nope, 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 nope. Don't want to fight you. Thank you. Alright, so, nope, not this one. Right, okay, so over here at uh, Angla, Angrila, uh, I completely missed this treasure chest. Right up here on the ledge. Just ran right by it. What? Ald finds a recipe book entitled More Dragony Designs. He takes a look inside. Ald learns how to make dragon's banes. Ald learns how to make worm fangs. Ald learns how to make dragon shields. Ald learns how to make suits of dragon mail. Pretty sure I bought some of those, but whatever. Uh, so that is one of the things. Um, I'm going to go into the character builder in a bit, but uh, first of all... Uh, no, item list. Recipe books. All right, so... Um, I missed that one, which I believe I know where it is. Um, but I noticed that there was dragony designs and even more dragony designs. And I was like, oh, and there was a, you know, question marks here. I was like, okay. So clearly I missed more dragony designs. I went and looked up what it was, where it was. So that's how I found it. Just completely missed this treasure chest there. Also, all the way back in Hoto. I missed one all the way back here. It is actually... Nope, don't fall off. There we go. Right back here. Completely missed this. There we go. What? Ald finds a recipe book entitled An Introduction to Armor. He takes a look inside. Ald learns how to make suits of bronze armor. Yay. Also, I probably missed these. Yep, 20 gold coins. Oh boy. All right, so that's those. And there is one other that uh, we want to go get. And I think we'll do something else. Uh, there's also Angrila Field of Discipline. I believe we can do stuff there. Um, so we're going to do that. But first, before that, we are going to go to... Havens Above can probably get us there pretty easily. Okay, uh, before we do that, though, there is there are some monsters that I have found. Uh, monsters by region. All right, Zvardzrust region. There's a an enemy here. Uh, it only shows up during when it's raining. The gold droll. Uh, you can get magic water or gold nuglets from them. Glitzy little snail-like so-and-sos whose shells get their shimmering sheen thanks to a diet of almost exclusively precious metals. So, uh, yeah. There's those guys. Um, I, I did fi uh, figure out that the uh, rare things getting... Um, what is it? Where are the pet powers? Okay. Um, itemized kill can do it, but it's not the one that I'm thinking of. Oh, right. There's more down here. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, so if you get all the Eric and Jade pepped up, do this in a battle, uh, you will get the... Uh, rare drops from whatever you're fighting, and all of them will drop it. It's pretty good if you're looking for uh, specific materials that are pretty hard to get. Um, ooh. Unleashes the full power of the Falcon on a single enemy, resulting in swift and certain suffering. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Um, so that's how I got a bunch of my resources. Um, 
If I go back into info, defeated monster list. So that's one of the things that I found. Uh, also in the Champ Sauvage, which is right there. Uh, lurid Lamplings. They only come out at night. Uh, lamp lights, sunny citrines, jazzy little lights used for decorations for all the major monster festivals. Their contrasting colors can't fail to put one in the mood for fun. Uh, so that's another enemy that I found. Um, also in the battleground. Alright, so I had faced these guys, these smog bonnets. Um, but I never did realize that there were soot bonzes here as well, because they kind of look the same. Um, so I did find those guys. Uh, bizarre beings from another dimension with four freakish eyes. They hunt by calling on companions in order to overwhelm their prey. Bizarre beings from another dimension with three unsettling eyes, often seen consorting with soot, soot bonzes. Which, for some reason, I just lucked out in not encountering these guys, because I, I really... I fought a few of these. So, anyway, well, I guess the number defeated is only five. Uh, but these things, I realized, so they normally drop Densinium, and the rare thing that they drop is a Falcon Blade. Really good things to fight, even though they're terrible to face. Um, you can see number defeated 18. Uh, this is how I got all of my, basically all of my Densinium. And I also got some extra Falcon Blades. So we might be changing around some people's equipment. Um, and then there's one other that I have faced. The Snogger. Uh, Brighton Rock and Ice Shields. The failed experiments of wizards who imbue icy masses with the spark of life. The resulting creatures are completely uncontrollable, causing them to be abandoned by their creators. Now, I believe this is a rare form of the Snogger. Um, so I'm going to have to get that later. I, I don't know that they show up anywhere else, which is a real pain in the butt, because you can't control what you face in the sea. So I will just have to uh, work on that. Uh, I believe that is all of the enemies that I found. No, there's one other. Um, Arborean Highlands. Vicious Hypothermian. Um, they drop artful amethysts and seeds of magic. Hypothermians are driven to dangerous extremes by the dark power of the Lord of Shadows. So, um, they're just up in the, uh, um, the section of, of Arborea path, you know, that you would take to get to the first forest. But of course, uh, the first forest is gone. Uh, I'm not sure that I've actually been there on screen, but there's not a whole lot there. I got some item, some items from the, uh, um, I don't think there's any new sparkly spots, so. Uh, let's see, that's basically it there. Let me hit up the uh, character builder. I've gotten a few points, just a tiny bit. Um, I was thinking about that, so let's get that. Um, Kaklang, that would... Open up that. Kind of tempted for Giga Gash. Batters all enemies with bolts of blazing lightning. That does do a group. So these assault all enemies. These assault a group. And I think the damage is basically the same. I, I saw uh, it on Get Dave's and it, it just really was not very impressive. Uh, let's see. That's Luminary... That's pep up chance plus 10%. That's pep up power up. What do we got? We got strength plus 15 there. Agility would be good. Well, let's get this so that we can see what that is. Fly by night. Um, new pep up power. Okay. And let's see what this is. Zapple assails a group of enemies with lashings of lightning. Oh, all right. So that's a new, uh, a new zap spell. 
probably means that's Kazap or Kazapple or something. I'll grab it. And Rab and Ald have Gloomstorm. Okay. Alright. And then we'll work on uh, getting that. Okay. Alright, Eric. Uh, dodge chance plus five. Critical claim. A dream ability that can ensure a critical hit on the enemy. I don't know that I care about that. Uh, I do want attack power when wielding for now. That will open up this. Pep chance plus 5% is pretty good. Accuracy when wielding. I don't know. Like I was saying, though, I'm kind of thinking about going for swords now. I mean, there's attack power when wielding plus 25, attack power when wielding plus 35, and attack power when wielding plus 20. That's really, really good. I don't know that I care about dodge, but I'm kind of curious what that is. Pep chance was 5% is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the, the boomerangs for now. That way we can see what this one is. I don't really care about dodge chance that much. Okay, and 107 for Serena. Brings the user back to life if they bite the dust. Not that I've used the hymns much, but that's probably going to be generally better, I think. Although, let me get this. That's good. That's heavy wands. Don't really care about heavy wands. Yeah, let me get this. And worm whip. Not really using whips. Be like water. Probably only works with spears. Protecting party member from status ailments is probably really good, actually. Uh, let's get that. Alright, I'll save some more points. Um, not really sure what I want to spend her points on, so... Alright, and... Let's see... I don't know that I'm going to do any... I'm going to really try to beguile enemies very often. Um, but have a ball. Rains down juggling balls on enemies at random. That could be fun. Grab that. Jolton Juggler. Alright. Sounds like something that will uh, involve lightning. Uh, I wish I knew if that actually used money. Let's go with Pink Pirouette, though. Ultraviolet. Okay. Got a new pet power. And what do I have? And I'm kind of thinking about uh, going swords for him as well. I imagine... Let's see. It's probably something like Miracle Slash. Having another person with Metal Slash would be pretty nice as well. But I'll save the points for now. Alright, Jade. Uh, that is a Spear Technique. Although there's some really good things up here. Hit Points Absorption when wheeling. 
Wow. All right, let's see what that spear technique is. Well, actually, I also want uh, multi-thrust and party pooper. Are both pretty good. Well, let me go with the attack power, because attack power is really good. And it'll open this up. Lightning thrust. An electrifying strike with a sizable chance of inflicting a critical hit. So it looks like that one will do normal damage otherwise. But uh, I think this is... That's a good one. And we have just enough for that. So let's get that. Crushed ice, so we can get that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy there. Alright. Uh, Rab. Magical might when wielding is good. That will open up this. That's more magical might. Yep. Go for that. Those are definitely among the best things that uh, we can get. I don't care about strength plus five or agility that much. Moderate MP recovery after battle. Uh, magical mending when wielding is good. MP absorption when wielding is good. Uh, Zing Stick, an arcane art that is guaranteed to revive a fallen party member. It's pretty cheap, too. Yeah, let's work our way towards that. And Hendrick. Let's see, a double-edged slash, a gear falcon slash. These are swords, that's axes. This is great swords. So let's go ahead and get Unbridled Blade. Because I do have him using that. Uh, that's under shields. Walking Spiel. I'm kind of curious what, uh, what we'll get here, because that's heroism. So let me uh, go ahead and grab this. Okay, that's Pep Up Power Up. I don't know that I care that much about that. Uh, I am guessing that that's dual wielding, or maybe that's dual wielding. One of those is probably dual wielding. Okay. So that's all those points. Alright. Now, the main reason that I'm here is so that we can uh, hop on our big whale. And that has been most of the episode so far, but, you know, it happens. Okay, so I want to go... not there. Over here. So we, we saw this, but we kind of ditched out before going there. Um, and I discovered that there is a recipe book here. But we should also check out this tower, I think. Um, there are some uh, sparkly spots. So we'll go get those first. There's the sparkly spot that I want. Okay. There are a lot of those little Kodoma thingies all over the place here. Going up to the tower. That is very intriguing. Might get some uh, news about what these things actually do. What they represent. But first... Let's see what we got around here. Anything? Ah. Sneaky. There's a little hidden path there. Almost missed it. 
What? Ald finds a recipe book entitled Good Godly Gear. He takes a look inside. Learns how to make sacrosanct staves. Ald learns how to make Venus's tears. Well, I already have a Venus tear. But let's, uh, let's see if we can actually get in. We may not be able to get in yet. I don't know. But, uh, these little guys are gathering here. Maybe for a reason. The door is tightly shut. It doesn't appear to have a keyhole, but there is a curiously shaped indentation in its center. Okay. Alright, so it looks like we can't do anything with this yet. Fair enough. But I got the things here. That is good. Um... Yeah, I think that's basically it, what I was going to do. So, let's go ahead and hit up a, a campsite. There's no music here at all. And I will show what I have done uh, on the forge. Alright, so, uh, we did just get the Dragon's Bane, so I have not made that, but I have made everything else, and they're all mastered, so that's good. Uh, great Swords, I've got Worm Fang, I've made everything else. Uh, knives, I've made everything else and mastered them. Boomerangs, made them and mastered them. Wands, I have not, I need to redo the, uh, uh Lamp Post and the Wyvern Wand. Um, Heavy Wands, we did just get the Sacrosanct Staff. Uh, and that is going to use up my last remaining Sainted Soma. I think I can get those from one of the, uh, casinos. I hope. But there's that. Um, it is... better for... Uh, Serena, of course, but it is not better for Rab. Uh, damage dealt to Demon Family Monsters increased by 10%. 12% MP absorption. Uh, magical Might goes up to 65. Magical Mending goes up to 54. And Attack goes up to 59. Uh, spears. Got the Metal Slime Spear on... Uh, I believe I have a plus 3 on uh, Jade right now. Yeah. That's exactly 14 better. Alright, so... Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, whips. Uh, I have mastered everything but the Queen's Whip. Uh, was there some... Yeah, I, I need to redo the Demon Spear and the Battle Fork at some point. And a couple of these. Uh, Claws. I need to redo the Crow's Claws. But I made the other things. Axes. King Axe and Avalanche Axe. We've got... Uh, but I only have 34 Perfectionist Pearls at the moment. Um, let's see. So I've made everything here. Uh, great shields. Oh, we did just get the dragon shield, so obviously I have not made that. Uh, but it is a pretty good shield. Um, hats, I've made everything except, of course, the artisanal Trodane bandana. Um, but I have... I still have some things that I need to improve. Uh, helmets, I have a bunch of things that I need to improve. Uh, but I've made everything there. Clothes. Of course, other than the artisanal Trodane Togs, I have made everything. I tried to redo the Glad Rags, but man, that is... Mm. I think that's a, the, the hardest thing that we've got. Well, the Saintus dress is not. So. But uh, yeah, pretty much everything else. I uh, still need to redo some things. Of course, I did just get uh, bronze armor, so I can do that. And dragon mail, but everything else is mastered. And robes. Still need to redo some things there, but I've made everything. Okay, and accessories. Uh, I've made everything here. I need to redo a couple things, but uh, I didn't make everything. Uh, same thing with uh, here. I made everything that I hadn't, and I need to redo a couple things. Same thing here, although the Brainy Bracer uh, didn't turn out quite as well, unfortunately. But it's a pretty good item. Magical Might and Mending plus 20 normally. Uh, gloves, I've made everything there. Rings, I have made everything here, but a few of them I need to redo. 
Uh, footwear, I've made everything there. Other accessories, I've made everything there, except, of course, the Venus tier, which we just got, so. Um, and the rosary, I need to redo. So basically, just, you know, going through and trying to master everything. And uh, that's basically uh, what I did. It did take a long time, and I did end up going up a few levels. And also... Doo -doo -doo, where? Alright, that's actually going to be in the swords. Yeah, I have uh, three spare Falcon Blades plus three now. Um, this is on top of the two that Ald is already using. So, I am definitely leaning towards putting them on other people. I am just... I have not been happy with the boomerangs. I just... The, the damage output is is not what I expect from uh, boomerangs. Really is not. So um, I'm definitely thinking about uh, swapping them out. Plus 64. So like if I if I go here, um, I mean it does say that I would do less damage with the uh, uh, the falcon blades, but still think it's going to be better. Anyway. Let's go ahead and zoom to Angrila because... Actually, I think we can just go to the Field of Discipline. Yep. I believe there are some things that we can do here. This is a field of discipline, the most sacred place in Angrila. Through the ages, many a would-be warrior has spilled blood, sweat, and tears upon these flagstones. Well, that's good. Is uh, no one over there? Nope. All right. You guys having fun there? For twenty long years I have endured, endured the harshest trials, that I might one day gain mastery of the hidden powers of Agrila. My dream is to master Erdwin's signature skill, the spiritual sword that tears through time and space, Quadra Slash. Would you not like to learn such an ability for yourself? Well, I already have, so yes. Of course you would. But do not under, uh, underestimate how difficult it will be, even for the Luminary. After twenty long years of training, its secrets still elude me. Um, I know how to do it. Not sure that I could do that, though. Welcome back, Luminary. A thousand thanks for saving the Hermit in the in our stead. We are in your debt. At long last, I have recovered from my wounds and returned to my training. As a disciple of Angrila, it is my duty to say, stay strong. Will you be joining us in our training today, Alt? Eh, not yet. So you think you can defeat the Lord of Shadows as you are? Why, if Grandmaster Pang were here, that attitude would surely have brought you brought forth the naughty stick. Well, we'll see about that. This stance has been passed down by the Masters of Angrila for generations. It is an expression of thanks for the life we have been granted by Mighty Utrasil. How do you like it? Perhaps you think it looks foolish at first glance. But the longer you watch, the more you will want to dance along. Well, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm white. I can't dance. This stance may look simple, but it takes years of training to perform it precisely and rhythmically. Only when I can keep dancing the whole day through will I finally be ready to proceed to the next stage of my training. I can't do it yet, but one day I shall prevail. Hmm, what am I doing? Nothing more than you see. Running around the field of discipline. It is part of my training. If I work hard enough and study long enough, perhaps one day the Master will deem me fit for the, to face the most legendary of all our trials, the Wheel of Harma. Uh, you're just gonna save it. Welcome, Luminary, to the Field of Discipline. Here, you may pit yourself against the Wield of Harma, and by doing battle with ever more powerful foes, learn how learn to draw out every last ounce of your strength in battle. But there are two things you must keep in mind should you undertake this challenge. Firstly, consider the strength, strengths and weaknesses of both your foes and your companions when choosing who is to face the wheel. Secondly, do all you can to defeat your opponents with as few actions as possible. Remember, I will be counting the total number of actions taken by all members of your party. 
Should you best your foe efficiently enough, your efforts will be rewarded. Make sure to give it your all. But enough talk. Please, Luminary, select the first trial. So which of the Wheel of Harmless trials do you wish to undertake? Alright, so battles two, participants three. A victory, uh, we get the Emperor's New Axe. Uh, within 16 moves, we get the Staff of Divine Rash Wrath. Within 12 moves, Saint's Ashes. And with eight, within eight moves, Sage's Robe. And we get more recipe books from these, but we do not know what any of those items are. We will be doing that in the next episode. But for now, we'll save it. And we'll see if we can defeat the Wheel of Harma. See you next time, everyone.